my earliest memory of Andy would be watching Dukes of Hazard episodes over and over and over all evening when we would get home from school. I was actually in elementary school and Tracy and Andy were in high school and when we would get out um, we'd come back to our house and I can remember Andy and I just sitting in Tracy's room. We would sit at the end of her water bed and just lean our backs against the end of the bed and watch this little bitty TV all evening long and I'm pretty sure that's where he got my nickname. Andy nicknamed me Lulu so for the longest time that's what I was called but we used to have so much fun together. My funniest memory of me and Jenny together is probably um, a fishing story, if you can imagine that. If anybody knows me, they, they sort of know that I, I do like to fish, but it was the first time Jenny had ever been uh, fishing, and I took her up to Lincolnshire Lake up in Tazewell, and um, before we even went, she said, I'm not going to touch the worms, I'm not going to touch the fish, um, you'll have to do all of that. So. Um, Pretty much casted the line out and um, she caught a, a bluegill, uh, the first fish that she caught. And uh, instead of reeling the fish, I mean, we had a, a pole that you could reel with, uh, she started this, she held it up over her head and started backing up. And uh, I thought we had regressed in, in fishing technology because she didn't know how to reel it or anything of that manner, but it, it was hilarious. Uh, that poor little fish, uh, he got drugged across the ground pretty good ways, and uh, but um, that was probably one of my funniest memories uh, with me and Jenny together. And um, had another one that was uh, a little before that time, um, and uh, we were at uh, uh, her house, and, and me and her and, and Tracy were in the living room, and for some reason we a wrestling match progressed and I don't know exactly what was the onset of that but anyway I picked Jenny up and, and turned around and was going to put her down on the couch pretty pretty gently but uh, instead I hit her head against the wall and, and she started crying and it was a pretty dramatic thing for her I thought it was pretty funny but uh, if you ask her she'll say probably not so much so On June 23rd, 2001, Andy officially became my brother. And the whole, the whole time that him and Tracy were engaged, I joked with him and said, Andy, you realize that Tracy and I are a package deal. So if you marry her, you marry me. I hope he would still think that that was one of the greatest decisions he's ever made. Because I have loved having Andy as my brother. And, um... There was one day in particular, was Tracy's birthday, and so the two of us were going out, and she had picked out a pair of shoes that she wanted, and of course, I picked out a pair that I liked too. So I can remember, I called Andy and asked him, Andy, is it okay if you buy me a pair of shoes for Tracy's birthday? And of course, he said yes. Two thousand and eighteen has been uh, pretty much a roller coaster of a ride for me. Um, in January of this year, I was feeling uh, not up to par, uh, really just feeling tired, not myself. Um, so I decided in January to go to the doctor just to be checked out, to see what was going on, and and went and uh, went to the doctor one day and for a checkup and. The next day I got a call and said that I needed to go to the ER, that I was in renal failure. Um, I said really no symptoms other than just a tiredness and not, I knew something wasn't right. Um, ultimately what they told me in the, in the hospital was uh, I had 5% kidney function and 
I was had to start dialysis immediately, uh, so I started dialysis in January. Uh, switched over to peritoneal dialysis in March, end of March, and I've been on it ever since. But um, they, they ultimately said dialysis, and then the uh, next step would be a, a kidney transplant, and that's sort of the part of the journey that we're getting ready to take on now. So. But uh, 18 has been uh, it's been an adventure, but I've tried to be optimistic and make the best of it. And uh, you know, you can get down on yourself and um, you know really get in the in the low parts and, and stay there if you want to. But I've tried to be optimistic and, and make the best of it and continue on with life the best that, as I could and, and found a new normal. So, uh, but hopefully all that's getting ready to change here in a day or two and. and we're very optimistic about this procedure and, and looking forward to uh, getting this chapter of life behind me. So. so if I could share one more experience with Andy through this journey, it would be our car ride home from our very last day of testing before surgery. And we were just talking about the seriousness of this and how a lot of people, I'm sure that it would be something scary or they would have a level of fear, you know, deep down. And I just told him, I'm like, Andy, we need to make this fun, you know, to the best of our ability. We need to do something just to let people see that, you know, this is an exciting time where we're going to do this transplant. We're both going to be okay. So I get out a notepad and ink pen and I'm like, hey, we need to write a song. And we did. <laughs> the music is not original, but the lyrics are. So we had a, we were the ones that put this together. So. Yes, and we just laughed and sung and had fun. So we hope that uh, you guys enjoy watching us. Uh, kind of make a fool of ourselves as much as we did and you will hear from us soon Oh kidney you're so fine you're so fine you blow my mind Hey kidney Hey kidney Oh kidney you're so fine you're so fine you blow my mind Hey kidney Hey, Kidney! We've been here in this room pretty much all night. She's giving me the left. I get it, keep the right. So can't you see this transplant? It's pretty dynamite, Kidney. Kidney. When you share your spare, you can't go wrong. I'm here to show no fear. Just be brave and strong. So be a living donor and pass the love along, Kidney. Oh, kidney, what a pity you don't understand. The two I got right now could use a helping hand. Oh, kidney, you're so pretty, don't you understand? It's all about you, kidney. Do what you do, kidney, do.